Justin Bieber. Someone that can get it whenever he wants and with whomever he wants. Wishes he didn't do it before marriage. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Am I awake? Did Bieber just imply that he wished he kept it halal? Douche. <laughs> Yes indeed, so Justin Bieber when he was doing some sort of Facebook live with his wife actually admitted that he wished he hadn't had inappropriate relations before marriage. Now for somebody uh, to be in his position from a small age to have screaming women and you know the, the, the best looking, for someone like that to to make such a revelation when, let's face it, whenever you speak to a guy nowadays, it's it seemed like the stud stud thing to do. Yeah, I've been with this many women. Yeah, I've got this many girlfriends. Yeah, I've got a side chick and yeah, I've got this many side chicks. Ha 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 ha. So here you've got somebody that <laughs> you know, can have like an unlimited no, no, supply no, no. of uh, side chicks. You know what I'm saying? He can have so many chicks, he can open up uh, his his own farm, mate, yeah? His egg business would go through the roof. Yeah, you're watching, guy. You're, you're somebody that must dirty. be watching you're pornography. Hey, Jack, please allow me, allow me, please, yeah? yeah? So this coming from Justin Bieber is not only profound, but it does beg the question, why? Why would somebody in his situation wish that he hadn't done that. Whilst many of you guys watching will be like, huh? These are the people that we aspire to and we thought that was the right thing to do. Why? Why not? I'm gonna tell you why not. Saving yourself will save you from comparing. Yes, that's right. This is one of the main things that breaks up marriages and relationship which is comparing your partner to somebody else. And we already know the standards of beauty are impractical, yeah? You got Photoshop and makeup and whatnot. Majority of the people that you will see do not look like that in real life. And that's one of the wisdoms in Islam for keeping your gaze low. So you don't look at the opposite gender and there is not that kind of comparison bar that that pops up in your head. Oh, I could have done better. There's like, what is it? Eight billion people on the planet. Yeah, Near, nearing eight billion people. You're definitely gonna find somebody who looks better than your um, potential partner, who's more muscular, who's uh, you know got better bone structure. But you can't live like that. Yeah, it's just it's just impractical. The heart wants what it can't have. Yeah, and the grass seems greener on the other side, but it isn't. All right, the next thing is the nature of intimacy between a man and a woman. It's more spiritual and special than the media and advertising has made it seem to us. Yeah, it's become very commercialized and something that can be bought and sold and something that can just be used, but it's so special that Allah has used this specific act to induce life and it increases the bond between the partners. Yeah, that's why it is an integral part of a halal relationship. And you know this whole boyfriend girlfriend thing, yeah? The reason why it just doesn't make sense is as you're growing up, yeah, you're, you're maturing you're learning about yourself, you're discovering yourself, you're building yourself, you're an incomplete building. You're making mistakes, you're fixing yourself, you know, you're correcting yourself and you know, you're building yourself up to a certain level and then when you're ready, that's when you get married. However, if you break the system, for example, the procedure of stopping a fan is you hit the switch, yeah, then the fan slows down and then you can move it. However, if you go against the system yeah, and you put your hand in the fan and you try to stop it like that, you're gonna hurt your hand and most likely the fan is still gonna keep going. Yeah, So the system that Allah has put in place is you need a development stage. Yeah, Go through the development and then once you've developed, then you're ready to handle a relationship. However, if you go against the system, then what happens now is you're unbuilt you're not ready and you're unstable and now you've got another person and you're having to look after each other and it's a mess. <laughs> yeah, it's a mess. And what that leads to is something, I say there's two things that 
uh, uh, to one of the most painful things a person can experience. That's number one, the death of a of a loved one, and number two, heartbreak and divorce. Yeah, these two things hurt, and many a time, these sorts of early relationships lead to heartbreak, and it scars a person. Yeah, and they can't see the opposite gender that same way, and it just causes mad chaos. Yeah, and that's why the creator of our hearts and our bodies has told us that's not the time mate, you want to get with a partner, do it the proper way. Yeah, do it in the sight of Allah, do it in the sight of witnesses, do it as a nikah. Yeah, that they are witnesses, that other person has rights now, you can't just dump that person. What is a dump? Dump is something that an elephant does on the floor mate. What a cheap way to talk about such a sacred bond between a man and a woman. I mean that age is such that you barely even know what's going on on the outside of your body and in the world. How are you gonna know about the mysteries of the heart? You know what I'm saying? You ask even many adults. You gotta ask your parents, well, what, what, what is love? Yeah. Yeah. People that are you know, married and they got kids, even many of them don't know what love is. So how is some little 15 year old, 13 year old going to know what love is? And the final thing that I wanted to say guys is if you save yourself from marriage, you know what, it's something, it's something amazing to look forward to and you know what, it's new experiences and it makes it even more special. That then leads to a stronger bond between you two because you're creating memories and experiences, it makes your marriage more exciting and it's less likely that you will break up. There you go guys, yeah, what an amazing revelation and hopefully you guys learned something and a bit of food for thought. I'm gonna leave it there guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram every day after Maghrib in Ramadan, I try to do a live and because the community there is a bit more you know, intimate so you guys can jump on the live with me and we can have a little conversation, you DM me, that's the best way to reach me and some people ask how do we keep in touch with the news or whatnot, Twitter's the best, follow me on Twitter, I retweet some news here and there, so Twitter and Instagram definitely follow me. Let's leave it there guys, yeah, until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.